critical thinkers, public speakers, and they debate. And we have doctors, we have nurses, and midwives, but you're the one who read the article and said that yes. Introducing I Debate TV Championship, where the best schools in Rwanda battle against each other, resolving conflicts without resulting to violence, solving problems creatively using debate. This is I Debate TV Championship. Welcome and thank you for tuning in. This is the I Debate TV Championship. We are one step closer to finishing and finalizing this one. You're watching the semi finals. Now, today we have an interesting motion. It says, This house believes that the regulation of social media is necessary to protect democracy. So, if you don't like uh, people browsing through your history or, you know, tracking you online, then sit back and relax because we have an interesting one for you the proposition side is ifak <laughs> and the opposition is uh, glory academy these two sides uh, one of them will proceed to the finals of the i debate tv championship now it's going to be an interesting one so hey don't dare go away from uh, your uh, screens now the judges we have ma isezerano Sandrine Omobiei, Faith Turamie is also with us. And of course, my name is David, always your host. Now, I shall let the judges do their work and the sides do the debating. We'll be back to find out who is going to the finals. Hey, it's a cringy moment, but hey, let's follow this one. Judges, take it on. So thank you so much. Um, I'm going to be uh, your head judge. And what we expect in this motion is, first of all, for both sides to convince us. But at the end of the day, we're just going to compare two worlds. One world, a world where the, uh, there is democracy and regulation of social media, and a world where there is democracy and no regulation of social media. So that those are the two words that we're going to compare at the end of the day. So we really hope that you are going to convince us that your world where um, the regulation of social media is um, necessary to protect democracy is good or in a world where um, social media is not uh, uh, regulated is going to be good with democracy. So uh, with, without further ado, let's have the first speaker from the opposition side. Good evening, everybody. I'm by the name of Mugisha Moses from the proposition side on the motion saying that this house believes that the regulation of social media is necessary to, pro to protect democracy. I'm first of all going to through the keywords. Regulation is to control or direct according to the rule, a principle or a law. Social media is an inter interactive form of media that allows users to interact with and and published to each other generally by means of internet. Democracy is a form of government in which the supreme power is, is vested into the people and exercised directly by, the, by them or by the elected agents under the free elected system. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to begin this debate by a, a pre my pretty favorite proverbs, which says that an open window allows a fresh air to enter and also flies to enter also. I'm going to explain this proverb by saying that, uh, by uh, giving an example like an, op an open window, this is like our society. Oh, and fresh air, these are good ideologies or good ideas. Uh, flies, oh, th uh, those insects, those are like abide the ideology. And another proverb says that your rights end ends where your, your neighbor's rights starts. If my rights ends here, your, your, your rights begins here. So, uh, which means that I can't do anything which exceeds to, to be overloading your, your rights. I have, to, I, have to, I have my rights, but I have to also to respect your rights. Uh, first of all, I'm going to make one thing clear. Social media is important to our society, and we need it dearly. But we need a regulated social media to protect our democracy. 
Uh, the, the, uh, this is where we have to regulate it. Th uh, th uh, I gave you uh, an example of a net in the window, where the net is going to, to prevent those bad ideologies, th those bad ideologies to come into our society. Uh, as, and also, we need a wise democracy, where we, see, where we see what is right and what is wrong, but also speak what is benefiting our society. Uh, here, here the, the, through these social medias, everybody has access to have access and ability to speak whatever they want. You can use social media to say bad things and good things, but that's why you are going to regulate social media to see that those bad ideologies are not going to be put into our community. For example, I could come and say a bad thing to you, but as I said, like my rights ends where your rights begins. So I, I could be invading, invading your, your, your rights, which is not democracy. Democracy, everybody have equal rights, everybody have equal, equal rights to everything. So if I'm, I'm invading you, I'm, I'm invading your democracy, which is, which, which is a point where we should really regulate our, our, uh, our social media. Uh, you can ask yourself, can democracy be influenced by social media? Can inf social media influence democracy? Ideologies could be formed through social media. Uh, leader, uh, here I'm going to give you an example. In 1994, genocide to take place. Uh, leaders used media like television, radios, and paper. Those are, were the means that were there. Uh, where they are used to, su to support uh, the genocide ideology. And now, we have all that, we have the television, media, and the paper, plus the social media. So if we are going to let, we're not going to regulate the social media. It means that we'll have a bigger, we have given a bigger power to, to, to those ideologies, which could lead to even more bigger genocide or another effect. It might not be a genocide, but another bigger effect if you're not regulating it. My point is regulations and our democracy like, our, if I'm giving you our, your rights, I'm going, I'm going to respect your rights. This is where, this is where we, ha we have to regulate it so that nobody could attack each other and we have the democracy. Social media is, a good, is also a good opportunity to call out illegal activities like drug trafficking, human trafficking, and also black market. So if, if you allow to trade our, our lives, so human trafficking, you are trading someone. Um, what is that democracy? If I'm selling you, I'm not respecting your, li your rights. So uh, that's why we should regulate social media. Thank you very much. Question? Yeah, you may speak. How, how is democracy at stake? Democracy is at, uh, at stake. If we, we allow everybody to come and, com and say everything or do anything through social media to attack you uh, as my friend, to attack you and, and, and invade your rights, so that's where our democracy is being crushed. Then that's why we should regulate our social media and we put our right means to how it should be used in a right way, in a positive way. I think that's it. Thank you. Who protects democracy? What? Who protects democracy? Who protects the, the us? Us, the people, we protect our democracy and also and also our leaders protect our democracy. So we all work together to, to protect our democracy. We, we all join efforts to protect our democracy. Uh -huh. Could you please give us clear examples of human trafficking that were done on Facebook? Uh, Facebook have helped human traffickers to, co to communicate, like where they're going to traffic those people, how are they going to traffic them. So those social media, if you're not legislating those social medias and see like, what, the, what are they speaking on, on the, those medias. So it, it, is, it is going to, to, uh, to support the human trafficking. For example, uh, some girls went, went uh, our random girls were trafficked, uh, some of our random girls were trafficked through to Uganda through WhatsApp. People could talk like, we are going to meet here, we are going to use this and this at this time. So th that's the meaning, using social media to use doing illegal activities. Uh, that's what, why we should regulate it. Because it's, if, if you're giving them free, free will to use it, they're going to use it in a bad way. Thank you. Uh, let's have the first speaker from the opposition side. Hello, 
again, um, the first figure from the opposition side of today's debate where the motion is, this House believes that the regulation of uh, social media is necessary to protect democracy. First of all, what is democracy? Democracy is a system of the government by the whole population. Now, protect is a way to keep something away from harm, and now regulation is the action of controlling an activity or process. Now, let me first get to refuting exactly what the first pickup from the proposition side dropped to your table, which is, we asked him a question of what, who exactly protects democracy. First of all, they should be representing exactly how social media, by uh, regulating social media, is going to help us protect democracy. And he came here and, and exactly stated how the people and the government themselves are the ones who are going to uh, help protect democracy, which is at stake. So exactly what are you defending if you're not standing for your cause? Secondly, um, you came here and stated how human trafficking issues are uh, arose over social media. How exactly does that happen? You did not emphasize clearly because um, I will be uh, going deeper uh, in my speech over those sort of issues. So basically, we have uh, two main issues here. The regulation of social media and whether it is appropriate for democracy, uh, which is at stake. Democracy is clearly at stake. Now, the reason to why, as the opposition side, we believe that the regulation of social media is not necessary because there is not a big, li a big link between regulating social media and protecting democracy. First of all, because there are very, very many other numerous problems that are going to arise after the regulation of social media. Firstly, social media platforms are going to lose users because you are regulating. You did not even emphasize on how you are going to regulate exactly and what platforms you are going to be regulating. So secondly, uh, you did not emphasize on that. So what exactly are you trying to, how exactly are you trying to protect democracy if you're, if you're not clear on exact, the exact idea of how we are trying to regulate it? There are other main problems that are affecting democracy whereby regulation of social media is not the main cause. Social media is going to use, lose users. It's a really, really hard um, initiative to regulate social media because we do not exactly have the idea of what you're trying to, uh, what, social, what, what type of social media you're trying to protect. First of all, what are the social media you are regulating? And what is the difference between our social media and the social media from abroad? So, now, we're trying to put out a smoke when you do not know where the fire is. The fire, firstly, let us not put out the smoke without finding the fire and then put it out first. What is the smoke? The smoke is the social media, the regulation of social media they're trying to refer to. What's actually the fire is, is bad leadership. That human trafficking is bad leadership. Bad leadership is, going, is leading to a rise of uh, cases such as poverty. And that is the reason why people are going to social media claiming that they have bad lives. Now you're trying to hide it by regulating social media. How does that make sense? You're trying to, to deny people of their freedom of speech. You did not clarify what kind of social media should be regulated. So in fact, you're regulating BBC, you're regulating Al Jazeera social medias, which are there to advocate the problems people have. The fact that people are complaining on social media uh, that, they, uh, that they do not have equal rights is because you're not cutting for the exact needs they have. Now, after all those issues are arising, such as racism and Black Lives Matter is on social media, how exactly are you telling me that you're going to regulate social media? You're going to refuse those uh, people, black people uh, facing racism issues to uh, advocate for, for themselves. So firstly, let us advocate for the, what is really needed to protect in democracy, which is the only way to protect democracy is good leadership. After we assure good leadership, then democracy is going to be protected. And uh, let's say, uh, for example, Sweden. Sweden is a country known of a very healthy democratic uh, environment. And you do not see the population of, of Sweden going to um, social media platforms shaming the president. But the United States is a completely different country because the president does not cater for the actual needs. So let us firstly address the issues which lead to the people going on social media to, to uh, claim for uh, the, the, the advocation of the human rights. So that way, uh, the regulation of social media will not be necessary. I'm ready for your questions. Uh, you said that if we regulate those social media, they're going to, to like the clients or the, the people who are following them or their customers are going to reduce. So your, your, your concern is not about the democracy, but you're, you're, you're concerned about like, making money, those customers. So if that's your concern, like, what is, are we debating about? One of the is access to information for the people. Now, if the users of a particular website decrease because you have removed the features or you have regulated their ability to access information, it's going to affect the democracy of the people. Because one of the main factors of democracy is having accurate and, acc and, and accessible information for the people. And if users are now not using uh, the social media platforms, then how exactly are you trying to protect democracy? It's not a matter of fact of, of uh, 
losing users. It's a, it's a matter of fact of people having access to this information they need over the, sh over the social medias. Can I ask you a question? Is there a uh, regulation of social media uh, in Rwanda? Um, well, basically, regulation of social media, it's like... There Is it there? Yes or no? No, no. Let me explain to you. So in Rwanda, we have... Basically, we're, there are local social medias and international social medias. L international social medias have their own regulatory policies, which are there to stop the people from... Uh, there is regulation in, yes, in exactly. Rwandan social media. So if there is no... Is, if there is regulations in, so in Rwandan social media, how do you say that there is no link between social media and protecting the democracy? Because you're failing to explain to us how regulating social media is going to provide people with the accurate information and more ability to take part into the decision making of their own country. Because that's what democracy is actually about. And you're not connecting the links. That's what, that's what we are talking about. Okay. Okay. Let us now welcome the second speaker from the proposition side. In 2022, a survey was conducted by the New Times and the What's Next organization, and they all indicated that 75% of people obtain information on social media. Okay. Now, dear judges, I come in front of you. Uh, I come in front of you to show exactly why is it necessary to regulate social media to protect democracy. Now, my name is Inoue Piovi Ben, and that's what I'm going to be doing right now. But before, let me first answer the question: Where they be? Where they be raising the problem how, of how? Uh, social media is raising the problem of of how social media is uh, is uh, is affecting how social media is actually affect, affecting democracy. Now, let me make this clear. <clears throat> let me first take the points. We have propaganda ideology. Now, this propaganda ideology, sorry, propaganda ideology is actually an issue because research from Al Jazeera News state states that 83% of worldwide propagandas these days are mostly due to social media influence. Now, if these propagandas, inf if, uh, these propagandas are actually being influenced by social media, now, we should be regulating information. We should be regulating this, uh, we should be regulating to protect democracy because in the pillars of democracy, we actually have, we actually have, uh, we actually have human rights. Now, if you, these human rights are actually being at stake by these propagandas, now this is actually an issue. And to make things clear, uh, the proposition side is going to be regulating this bad information. We're not regulating, but we are not regulating good things. We're regulating bad things that are already there. Now, these bad things we are talking about the. Uh, in, the, in, in Rwanda, we have this issue about uh, we ha we had this issue about uh, the genocide in 1994. Where right now we are actually in the th third stage. Now the third stage of the of the 1994 genocide is actually mostly about is actually mostly about the social media. This third phase is about social media and this bullying that's happening online. Now, if we don't regulate and this and if these issues go to those to, to, goes to those people, those who are very very who have issues. About, and they be listening to these complaints. This is going to be an issue for them because actually when these complaints get to them, this becomes an issue because it will bring back memories and when these memories come back, it can actually trigger, it can actually trigger um, bringing out, uh, uh, bringing out uh, the, a second genocide or any genocide ideology. And, and another thing, false information. Now, we are actually regulating the false information that's actually being put out there. Now, this false information is the one that's the issue right here. We're talking about false information. We're gonna be regulating false information. And another thing, yes, there are regulations today. Actually, if the regulations were not necessary, it wouldn't be implemented in the current status quo. In the current status quo, where, we, where, this, where there is these regulations, where the government states that, we, they're, that, they're, that, they're be, that they're regulating these issues about, um, about social media. Now, al although you might, uh, you might say that regulation is against freedom of speech, she talked about uh, freedom of speech. Actually, according to our culture and according to the historical background, uh, uh, the, the Rwanda is historical background. It's actually an issue that we should actually re be really looking about. Because if 90, if 75% of people now are using social media to access information, and uh, and this information might be unethical or, or might be fake information, this means that act people are actually obtaining fake information, which is not actually, which is not coming, which is not complying with democracy. And uh, another thing. Um, uh, another thing, the social media has both uh, a good and negative impact. Now, the social media is now a platform for elections. Now, elections are being done, these days elections are being done online. So since elections are being done online, that means that 
that means that it should be regulated so that these elections can happen without the influence of the bad people or the bad ideologies. Another thing, social media needs to be safe for people, for content and privacy. We are advocating for privacy right here. Right here, we, we're, looking at the, uh, we're looking at the privacy of the people. Thank you, my name is Ngoi Piovi Bernard, that's all I had. Other questions? What is wrong with the current status quo? What is wrong with social media right now? Social media right now. Yes. Actually, what's wrong? The current status quo is actually being fixed. The problem here is that privacy is not is, privacy is at stake, and the problem of, uh, of the, the problem of these propagandas. This is the problem that is the kind of current status quo. But they're actually being handled because they're because it's in the current status quo. Things are being handled. Okay, thank you. Would you please differentiate for us social media and social media usage? Social media and social media usage. Oh, yeah, social media is a platform, and social media usage as the people use the platform. I think, that, I think that's it. Okay, so I ask this question a lot of times. What would be the difference with you guys regulating local social medias and international social medias? Because you're addressing it in a general fashion. Well, everything starts with small steps. Actually, if we be regulating, if we be like regulating things in the in our country, we can be regulating things all over the world. For example, YouTube took down uh, YouTube took down around one million videos that went against Rwanda, that went against the went against the, the ideology of genocide against the Tutsi. Now, that's a very good regulation. Everything starts from here. We started here by, by going from home to home. Now it's going international. How is it going international? It's like those YouTube videos that were took, taken down. Do you mind giving us examples of, of local social medias in Rwanda? Local social medias? Um, in Rwanda. OK, uh, personally, uh, local social medias, uh, actually, I don't know any personal local social medias in Rwanda. That's all. Uh, thank you so much. Now let's call upon the second speaker from the opposition side. Bad ideologies from first speaker of said proposition from social medias. But this is a problem that is into the minds of the people, not because of social media. And this is being solved through sensitizations that are being done by the governments respectively, depending on where it is being done. I quote, the second speaker was like, 75 of the people obtain information from social media. And mind you, regulating social media meaning, it actually means you are going to remove certain features. Those features of which attracted people, of which people are going to, are, are going to go away from those social medias, then who, with the 75%, what are we going to remain with? Nothing, which is a big harm once we put it as a necessity to regulate social media. They said pillars, of uh, democracy, we have human rights, of course. We have, they said in the 1994 genocide in Rwanda, it, it, they, they brought it up and saying, uh, and, and, and saying the influence of social media into, through that. But we would like to ask, what type of Instagram and WhatsApp was there through the 1994? The main problem, the main issue there was the people that were sitting with the rest of the people and put their ideologies, not on social medias, it was in person. So that point literally is out. So they said for fake information, who determines fake information? That's a question for them. That's a bad, the bad of who determines fake information? We have. We have, social media is one type of media, whereby you have social media and controlled media. Controlled media is their TVs and radios. They are not social medias. Those are controlled, and they are the same people that actually determine what fake info and that, that is not fake info. So they've been talking about Rwanda. If Kat Vevo publishes something and RBA publishes something, who will be followed? RBA. RBA is not social media. It is when they come on television, this is controlled media, not social media. So that point also of fake information is removed. Elections are being done online. They are being done online, not on Facebook. The website specialized on that. People following that, not on Facebook. Another thing, privacy of the people. Of course, privacy of the people. And they said that social media, they're mainly focusing in Rwanda. But I myself asked a question to the second speaker. What are the types of uh, social medias in Rwanda? And he said, I don't know social medias, the local social medias. Then the question is, what are they regulating? If Rwanda has no local social medias, who are we to regulate someone else's social media of which brings tax, of which brings income to the rest of the people? Let me show you, let me show you the actual harms, which are the, our main points of which it's not necessary or to, 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 to put a necessity in, through these regulations. One, 
businesses will meet failures because the moment features will remove, people will get off. And the, if people get off, businesses will lose clients. Online business. Two, international relations will be at stake because there are some relations of which they are taking place online on social medias. And if they, they, are, they are like that, people are going to go. Then international uh, relations are going to be at stake. And if they are at stake, the government has nothing more to offer of which the reputation is going to be in game. So I would like to engage side proposition. One, what social media are you regulating? Please answer that. The whole social media. No. WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, of which yes. Rwanda does not yes. own. That's so yes. funny. Mm. Yeah. Another thing, what regulations are you going to put? Actually, actually, which social media of which power or rules or principles or articles are you bringing to the rights of yours and then saying that you're going to regret something that was created out of your awareness? No answer. So by proceeding, this is the reason why I sh we should not focus mainly on social media regulation. Our, the protection of democracy is not lying in regulation of social media. It lies into the fulfillment of human rights, the fulfillment of needs of the people of which are not addressed, the corruption that has to be solved, and even the society problems like racism of which they happen in person. Those are the same problems that take people to social media. The moment they are actually regulated, there is n the moment they are actually addressed, there is no reason at anywhere of regulating social media of which you don't have any control over. Plus, women discrimination, poverty, those are the same elements. Uh, I would like to bring something to the side proposition. How are you, by the way? Do you have any questions? Uh, I'm going to ask my first question. Like You said that uh, the democracy involves the fulfillment of human rights. Uh, did you know that they, uh, every individual has a right not to be harassed through social media? Yes. But let me correct you. I didn't say demo in democracy there is that. I said for democracy to be protected, that is, has, that is what has to happen. So right. they misunderstood the point of which disqualifies the answer. Any yes. point? Any rest yes. of course, Mr. Speaker? You say that business will lose clients. Yes. Is it true? Yes. What credibility do you have that our regulation, which is only putting on some <laughs> criteria, going to harm or make people lose clients? The credibility is like this. Rwanda is going to regret Instagram, of which Instagram is used by a lot of people, both Rwandans and, and other foreign in the same country. What will be the reputation? A lot of businesses depend on Instagram to actually promote themselves, to actually show up what they have. Then the moment we regret, we're removing features. The moment we, we remove features, no one else is remaining to actually come and visit, uh, visit the accounts. And if no one is remaining, then the companies want to be like, the, 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 they want to be known. If they want to be known, they want to be having clients. If they want to be having clients, they want to be having anyone to buy. If they want to be having anyone to buy, there is no company going to remain because they're going to, 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 to meet failure and loss. And if they meet failure and loss, Rwanda is as long as in taxes, dear house, there is no way uh, the protection of our democracy lies into the regulation of social media. With that said, I rest my case. Thank you so much. Now let's have the third speaker from the proposition side. Okay, thank you so much. I go by the name Sirakoze Benizak. I'm the third speaker from the proposition side. Let me first do what the judges need us to do. Let me show you that the world with democracy and regulation of the social media is the best. This world will be the best because we will protect insult, to, we will pr protect people from being insulted, we will protect all those bad issues of denying the, the genocide which we showed you by my first speaker. We will regulate all those bad things on social media, then there would be a good world with regulated social media. Let me first tackle what say, was said by their second speaker. He said that when Instagram will be regulated, then uh, they would lose clients. Let me show you that it's already regulated and they didn't lose clients. Regulation, we are saying here, is a simple thing. We are not saying to close some parts. We are not saying that we should delete some things which are posted. We are only saying that the regulation needed is to ask you your age when you're registering, when you're entering the account. That's our regulation. When you asked a number, it means that when you say bad things about the country, when you say that there was no genocide, then they will follow you. They have your number. That's a regulation. And it's an easy way of 
regulation. Let me answer the question which was asked to my second speaker, which was which are the local uh, medias in Rwanda, there is RTV, EGH, and all those very many platforms, and they are also regulated. They are regulated because I can't come here on this platform and say a bad word. I can't come here and say a curse. Do you know why? Because they're regulated. I grew up and my parents told me and the government told me who are the people that my second speaker said that regulate. They asked him a question that who regulate uh, the social media. It's me and the government. In what way? in not saying those curses on TV. Can you say a curse on TV? You cannot. Do you know why? You grew up in a society that tells you that there, that regulates you from saying that. You grew up in a society that shows you that we can say bad things on TV. Let me go through uh, points and also show you easy things that we say. Easily democracy we need is when your rights are respected and also you respect mine which was, so, was shown by my second speaker. He showed you that when we regulate those uh, social media, then there would be no quarrels, there would be no curses on TV, there would be no people who say that there was no genocide in Rwanda. These people are here and showing us that we should allow people to say they were, that there was two genocide in Rwanda. They are saying that we should not regulate social media. We should regulate social media. We should... Uh, uh, deny that from uh, being uh, emphasized, we should follow the people who say that, as it's already being done. Every platform in Rwanda is regulated, social media, and also internationally. You asked, the, how is it regulated? The second speaker asked it to my second speaker. He asked the, where, which platforms are regulated, the international and the local. International are regulated, I showed it to you, that when you're registering, they ask you the age, they ask you most questions that would follow you when you say bad things on internet. Our points also were, uh, let me also emphasize from a small thing which was said by MC, he said that no one needs their privacy to be invented. We don't need people to invent our privacy, that's why we are regulating the social medias. We are regulating the social medias by asking you your age, by telling you that when you, you, know, you post bad information, that they are discriminate the policies of the Government will remove that. That's a regulation. You're taking regulation as removing more bad things while well, it's a small thing. Thank you. I rest my case. First question, what will happen if the people lie their age, their, number, their phone numbers, and whatever questions that you will ask? People won't lie their age, their number, and uh, all the things that will say, do you know why? Because when they ask you an number, for example, you give your mothers, when they ask you in the name, you give all the things. The government, when you say bad things, they will follow. That's a regulation. That's why there should be a regulation. The government should follow that. Those bad things, where they are from, and the people who say that, then there will be a regulation. That's what's up. Another question? Uh, what if I have this phone number, I register with uh, this fake email that I have, then I break the SIM card, I change my names. That's one. Two, differentiate for me, please, social media, and controlled or mass media. They're two Let different things. Answer the first one and you repeat the second one. Let me show you. There is Lib in Rwanda and there are very many association or uh, companies of security. If you insult a person or if you insult a person's name on the social media, then you, you've broke the SIM card and what and what and what. They will follow you. They will know where you live. They will know where that thing started. That's an issue of police police, all those security services, not an issue of social media regulation. Thank you. The second question was? Social media and controlled or mass media. I think you've learned and make your research about this. Yeah, we, we explained already, explained social media, you know, and you also explained it. Then the thing mass also was? Mass media, what is? To differentiate between social media and mass media. Mass media is what you explained that right here. You say that genocide was emphasized by the people around there. Thank you, I rest my case. Thank you so much. Let us now welcome the last speaker from the opposition side. Hello everyone, I'm by the names of Umlinga Perfect and I'm the third speaker from the opposition side. And 
I'm really surprised by the proposition. Oh my God. Okay, so you came here and told us about this certain net. I don't know what net you're talking about. Okay, I just, I know that, okay, you, you're using this net. Okay, people are inside here. You're trying, you're trying to, to use a net so that people can get the fresh air, but you're actually hiding the fact that there are flies outside there. You're saying flies are also going to enter, but you're actually hiding the fact that flies are there and they have to know that they're actually there. And you talked about bad ideologies. My first speaker came here and told you the real problem, the problem that we have is bad governance. How? You, it's about bad governance. It's not about, it's not, I, mm, social media is not, the actual, it's not the actual reason why there is ideology. And you came here and told us about my rights is where, my, my rights where they end is where yours begin. I do not understand that point. If my right of education ends, yours stops. I do not get. Um, and then you told us about how genocide, it's actually the problems that you're setting, you, you're, you're giving us is actually the reason we gave you to why democracy is at stake. You have been telling us ideologies. You have been telling us uh, genocide. You have been telling us people are, being uh, is, are facing uh, mm, human trafficking. These are all problems because of bad leadership, not because there is presence of IG. If IG was there, then, then how is it related to me being, me being, me, me being traf trafficked? And then you, you came and told us that because people, those people are able to communicate. So tell me. You're going to cut this communication with me and my friend just because you're regulating. You told us people, you don't want people to communicate. That is what you're actually saying. If you're saying that you are going to regulate everything, then, that is, then you're trying to say that you cut, you're going to cut off the communication. Then, your second speaker came and told us fake information. My, sex, my second speaker talked about, uh, about that. Privacy, why are you going to, to post your private life on the internet? You want, then you want to be discriminated. If... That is not the problem. That, that, how, I don't even understand how that is going to be a problem to democracy. And then you said the speaker came here and told us that uh, protecting people from being discriminated, that is what I just told you. The, social media is, your second speaker came here and told us, Democ uh, social media is just a platform. How they're using it is the problem. And that problem is not actually, it's not because, it's, it's not the social media. It's not the problem that we're not regulating it. It's the social media. The social, it's, the, it's not the problem of regulating social media. And you came here and told us about we should give, us, give ourselves the, um, we should give out numbers, we should, give, us, uh, we should give, us, give age. That is how you're going to regulate it. Oh, my friend. Can you, can you, can you um, create a Facebook account without giving a number? That is, something, that is a fact of, that is a fact of uh, social media, so it doesn't really have a problem. And then you came here and told us your parents taught you how to how to um, how not to curse in society. Then that is what we have been telling you. We as the opposition, we are saying let us sensitize those people. Let us let us talk talk to those people. Let us let us um, um, solve those problems that people are having. If I come here, if I come here and post on my social media that I'm having a problem of hunger, and then you're coming here and telling you shouldn't post that, but I still have the problem of hunger, then why are you telling me to hide it? You know this, you know our parents used to do this to us, and then when we, they beat us, and then they're like, don't cry, don't cry. No, that is not the right thing to do. Actually, do something to help me not cry, at least help me be, be like, you should not be doing this, but do not, do not stop me from crying. That is what you're actually trying to do. You're trying to hide things that are actually, that are actually happening by, uh, by, <coughs> by regu regulating this social media. We are saying that we should sensitize people before trying to shut them up. We, that is what we've been telling you. And about your mom teaching you to, um, about your mom teaching you how to not curse on social media, that is our society. That is your mom teaching you. That is not related to social media. You do not regulate social media for me. If, <coughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna accept your questions and two questions and if I have time, if you're a good listener, you mm -hmm. say that you, your, the social media usage is the problem. So what's the solution to your opinion? To actually solve those problems that are causing the bad usage of social media. If there is a problem, if people are actually, if I'm posting, like the, uh, the example I gave you, if I'm having a problem of hunger or uh, I'm, being, I'm being discriminated just because I'm black, then I'm going to post it. Go solve the problem that I'm being discriminated as a black person before trying to tell me, hey, do not post that. That is the problem. That is, uh, okay, okay. The other question was the difference between sensitization and regulation. Sensitization is coming and telling you that please, um, this is the, we, we should not be discriminating people this way. We should not be discriminating people in this, such, in this kind of way. And what you are saying, regulating is to control. Tell, coming here and giving you advice is different from me controlling you on what to do. 
That is what we're trying to tell you. You're trying, you're trying to tell us that we're going to control the people on what they, they're going to post. You're going to control every single person. What if I come here and tell you, as the opposition, what we're saying, as what we're saying, what if I come and tell you, you actually should do this, which is much better, instead of me imposing power on you to come and do not post that. If I have, if I have food, if I have everything that I need, then why should I go post terrible, bad things? Why should I go, um, um, okay, like, why should I put the democracy at stake? Thank you. Both the teams are now having their fingertips to the finals. We'll give them time to prepare for their reply speech and we'll be right back as they deliver their speeches. Uh, thank you so much for both team. Now we are waiting for your reply speech and we are starting with team opposition. You have two minutes. What basically I'm going to do right here is to compare two worlds, theirs and ours. Their world is a world that regulates social media in such a way that what pulled people to social media is removed, as they've been claiming from the first to the last speaker. Their world has the following problems. False information, bad ideologies from social media, human trafficking, privacy of people being exposed, elections uh, being online, the 1994 genocide in Rwanda, and they are solving these problems by limiting awareness of those problems uh, and keep people quiet, which violates democracy by limiting people of freedom of speech. This is a world they have been proposing from the first to the last speech. Our world we are proposing is a world that has corruption, ignored needs of the people, racism, gender discrimination, human trafficking, false information on social media and both on mass media or controlled media, and bad ideologies. But the difference is we are solving these problems by addressing this problem independently as the many problems that, that actually hinder our democracy. And uh, we asked them a lot of questions, of which they did not answer. Some of the questions, they were left hanging, something like, what if the numbers are changed? Because personally, I have an Instagram account, and that is not my number, and I've not been arrested. Then this is uh, the last something. We need participation of the people in democracy for it to be actually the real vision of democracy. Social media is a way to express the, peop the people's feelings. If now we are regulating social media, then we are removing the participation of the people from the whole picture, of which we no longer have, the, we no, we no longer have uh, uh, democracy. So if their protection they are claiming is removing what they are protecting, what are we remaining with? So the best world is our world that has problems that are clearly identified, the awareness is well known, and each problem is mentioned and tackled independently as two, we know them. Not like shutting people not to, to say them. With that said, I risk my case. Uh, thank you so much. Now let's have the reply speech from the proposition side. Okay, I'm going to throw the, the reply speech and what they said and what we say. So, first of all, the second speaker said that, or uh, second uh, my second speaker asked a, uh, a question in the opposition to show how social media does not affect in any way, even if it's a little way, but how does, uh, to show us how does so so social media affect in any way, even if it's little, because here we are talking about the necessity. Even if it's, li it's, it's little, it's necessary. So the, sh uh, the opposition should have said, showed us how, so uh, how social media does not affect in any way. So uh, the opposition talked about how uh, the, we are limiting the awareness to, to the public, but we show that we are giving awareness, but which, which also follow other people's rights, like which does not affect other people's rights. So they talked about that we, we don't want to communicate, the, the third speaker, we say that we want to communicate, but in a, in a way that does not going to affect your friend, in a way that is, it's, it's true that it's not going to affect your neighbor and invade other people's rights. Uh, they talked about that the problems of Black Lives Matter and the problems of uh, what if a person is hungry and wants to talk about that. We, we were advocating for our bad ideologies. If you're expressing like the racism or the hunger, we show that you could say that. You have to say that, but if it does not affect other person or it does not affect other people, person's right, then if, 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 if it affects, don't say it. 
if it does not affect, you are free to say. You have a free, a free freedom speech. Uh, they talked about like bad governance. Bad governance really hinders our democracy. But we say that bad go governance hinders our democracy. But we also say that uh, social media is a channel to use that is a channel for people to, to use that ideologies to show to, to bring to the people, which hinders other people's rights. There you have it, an interesting debate, and it's time that we know who took this one home. Now, we'll give the judges a couple of minutes to decide, so judges, please uh, take your time. Here's, here's where I feel like, and this is on both sides, right? I feel like both of you are starting at a very high level. So you're talking about these big ideas, but as you go towards the end of the debate, you're really focusing on minor things. And part of what you will notice is that towards the end of the debate, um, you always have to ask yourself the question of, if I win on this argument, do I win the debate? And if your answer is no, then don't make that argument. Because you guys spend a lot of time, for example, on the question of, of let's say, age, right? Like that, 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 that question. It's going to be, you will say, they will say people will lie, you will say people won't lie. And at the end of the day, as a judge or as a person listening, I'm like, who cares? Like, how would the world change if you lied on your age? Or how would the world change if you don't lie? What you need to be able to do, either side, is to be able to show, if you say, for example, that people don't lie or why that is important, you've put it back to why is that important for a functioning or a non-functioning of a democracy. Right? And then for you, is the same thing of why is this important for the functioning or the non-functioning of, of, of democracy. At the end of the debate, usually by looking at a motion, we already know it, um, what are the big ideas. And I think that's what both sides you're missing on. What are the big ideas? And for me, it's like the big ideas in this motion are very simple. It is protected speech versus free speech. That's the clash. All the other things don't matter. That needs to be the clash at the end of the debate. Because if it's protected speech versus uh, unregulated speech, right? that's when on one side we're asking, what does protection of speech mean? Right? And most of the time it's a question of those who advocate for protection of speech. It is this idea that the free speech is most of the time used as an excuse to discriminate against the minorities. Or it is used as, a, as an excuse for people who don't want to be held accountable for anything. And then when we talk about why do we need free speech, and then a lot of the advocates will say it is free speech is a corrective speech. So it means that instead of saying people shouldn't say this, we should allow for the people who have the good things to say it too, right? And then there is where you talk about what kind of governments are we building, right? But the problem is both of you sort of go and in these really, really details, and you need to ask yourself, if I win, does it matter, right? Like, does it matter if someone posted something on their IG? And I think even the question of privacy is a pr question that I think is very, very important, but it's sort of like dismissed, right? It's like, but you, you, it's almost like cheaping or making it small. But a question of privacy is also, again, uh, 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 um, Britannica analytics, right? This thing where Facebook was selling all our data to companies and then companies can make money out of that. That's where it matters. Now, whether or not you posted something and you're doing like this, it does, that's in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. So part of it is, as you're going towards the end of your speeches, you always go back to what are the big ideas and where's the main clash. All the small clashes don't matter. So you don't have to win all arguments. You have to win the ones that matter. Does that make sense? All right. Thank you, Jean-Michel, for such wonderful insights. Now, the judges are back, and from now, we'll get to know who has secured their place in the finals. It is very exciting indeed. Judge uh, Sandrine, do you have the results? Yes, we do. Yes, but in general, how was the debate for you? Uh, the debate was tough. Uh, we love that the two sides were engaging with each other, and although some arguments were missing and some pieces uh, of information were missing, such as research, um, 
I thought it was a good debate. And um, as, tough, as tough as it was, we were able to get to a decision and you can come ahead and get it. I will, yes, ma'am. I can see both sides trying to pick and look at the paper, but you shall not. All right, so this team has secured their place in the finals of the iDebate TV Championship. They are one step closer to taking the debate championship home. And this side is... We have to pause for the drama for this one. The opposition side. <laughs> Rory Academy. Now, securing a place in the finals is no easy thing, so we will have to talk to them to see their, your feeling. Through the knockout stages, the quarterfinals, the semi-finals, they have secured their place to the finals of the iDebate TV Championship. Roy Academy, how do you feel? Um, thank you. We feel grateful. Actually, thank God, because we've been praying so hard. But actually, and, uh, we feel kind of the pressure is getting more, because we need to know that the more we get further, the more we have to get out of the tricks of beginners and get to actually do more of the research as the judges have said. And, and we feel so happy, we feel so, 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 so happy for this. It wasn't easy. From the first round to the last round, it wasn't easy. And we are now heading to the finals, of which want to be easy too. Through the knockout stages, the quarterfinals, the semifinals, they have secured a place to the finals. Congratulations again to Grow the Academy. Now, don't you dare miss the finals. They'll be coming up on your screens very soon. My name, as always, is David, your host. Goodbye for now.